Hello everybody. This video is about a special engine of our virtual instrument Thrill, which we call the Cluster Designer. As you might know from the basic walkthrough video, the main performance feature of Thrill is creating musical tension dynamically and in real time by simply moving Thrill's XY pad. There are two complex sounds located on each side of the XY pad, which we call Thrills. X morphs between those two and Y controls the Thrill factor. Now in this example, or in this snapshot, as we call the complete main presets, those two thrills are of different types. On the right side there is an atmosphere. It's atonal, not tonally playable, and the tension buildup is based on dynamic samples and several modulations. The topic of this video is on the left side. It's the cluster thrill, based on the cluster designer, which adds another dimension. With the cluster thrill, tension control is not only based on velocity samples and modulations, but on dynamically building a custom designed, or let's call it custom composed cluster, in real time. And those clusters are tonally and polyphonically playable. Now having a look at the sources page shows two atonal sound sources for the atmosphere on the right side, which blend to the full atmospheric thrill sound. In the cluster designer on the left side, you also have kind of two sources, but only one features the sound source itself. You can choose from 110 sound sources for the cluster designer using its sources browser with a wide variety of multi-sampled string and wind articulations. So the first source delivers the sound. The second source has a separate page and features the actual score of the cluster, the composition. The notes of that score, which play the sound derived from the selected sound source, show up in the cluster tree and represent the cluster voicing. Up to eight cluster voices are available, each one adjustable in volume, pan and of course tuning. This one is based on a halftone voicing. You can choose from hundreds of pre-composed cluster voicings in the voicing browser. There are three different modes determining the kind of buildup of a cluster. With Glide, all cluster voices start with the same basic note and move to their adjusted tunings when moving the y-axis. If I switch to add-on, the played basic note starts on its own and the cluster voices are being added one by one over the y-axis. If I now switch to parallel, the whole cluster is being played from the very beginning, going through the dynamic samples and modulations when moving y. Now, if I want the whole cluster to blend in over time, I can use the Strength knob. Strength adjusts the level of the cluster notes in relation to the basic note played on the keyboard. But I can modulate the strength, so I can blend in the full cluster with a Y-axis. Similar for Add-on, which results in a smoother appearance of the cluster notes. and also with Glide, blending in the notes which are gliding from the basic note to their cluster tuning. Okay, up until now I mainly worked with voicing presets, but the cluster tree is of course user editable by either dragging a voice itself in the cluster tree, or turning its tune knob when switching through the voices. And if I drag a voice while holding the ALT key, the tuning switches in half tones. So you can easily create your own cluster voicings and combine them with a cluster sound source for your own cluster thrill.
And of course, you can load full cluster thrills in the Thrill Browser, combining different sound sources with different voicings. There is also a randomize function to create custom clusters with a click, either by randomizing a selection of parameters, or everything including sound, voicing and effects. Now, a full snapshot consists of two threads. Going to the Snapshot Browser and selecting the type tags Atmo and Cluster shows all snapshots featuring a cluster and an atmosphere thread. It makes perfect musical sense morphing a tonally playable cluster with an atonal atmosphere, that atmosphere being continuously looped until the keys are being released. Selecting only the type Cluster in the Snapshot Browser brings up snapshots with both thrills using the Cluster Designer. Now playing one note triggers both clusters at the same time. Using the split key gives each thrill its own range, which is visualized on the contact or the complete control keyboard as well. Additionally, the octave range for each thrill is adjustable. Let me put the first thrill one octave down and the other one an octave up. As you see, the visual range on the keyboard is adapted as well. Okay, that's all about Thrill's Cluster Designer. I hope you enjoy it and thanks for watching.